All right, so today we're basically going to be stripping parts off this motor and putting it onto the D16Y8. Uh, one of the things that I'll need is this bracket for the side engine mount. Um, also the engine harness and the transmission. So let's get to it. So from closer inspection, it looks like the axle seal needs to be replaced, which I do have a new one, and the shift rod boot will need to be replaced as well. Uh, these will be certain things I'll replace as I pull the transmission off. Still need to clean the transmission. This seal looks pretty good, but I have another one anyway, so I'll be replacing that one. So I've got the transmission unbolted. There's one bolt back here. Another one on the top here, right behind the starter. I can't really see, but it's back there. And then there's um, another three bolts on the side here. And then you could just start wiggling the transmission out. All right, transmission's out. So basically just rock it side to side and it comes right out. Moved it over here already. It's not very heavy. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna just start cleaning this thing, degreasing the transmission before I put it onto my D16Y8. So just to prevent water from getting inside the transmission, like inside where the tranny fluid goes, you'd wanna kind of stuff some plastic bags or something into the axle holes so nothing kind of goes in there. Um, and I'll be doing that right now. All right, the axle holes are stuffed up, as you can see. And what I'm gonna be using to degrease this thing is super clean. This stuff works amazing. It just takes all the grease off. So super clean and a, a toothbrush, that's all you really need. And the brakes switching on that phone. Alright. Just gotta wait a lot for it to work its magic. Pretty much starts working instantly. But you do need to scrub it a little. Oh. 
So we'll be right back when, we, when we're all done. I'll show you the finished product. All right, so the transmission is all clean now. As you can see, it's pretty clean and even the inside is all clean. Yeah, that's a plane going on right there in the background, but yeah, so just gotta wait for this thing to dry off before I put it onto the D16Y8. All right, so I got that bracket off without having to remove the crank. Um, so how you would do it is you basically um, loosen up the timing belt, timing belt cover, and then you would just use some wrenches, uh, which is a 14. Use the 14 and the 17. So basically, when you have it in there, you use the 17 for leverage like this, and you crack it. Um, the bolt would undo once it's loosened, and then you would just have to use the wrench and slowly remove both of the bolts. They do come out, takes a little bit of time and patience, but it does work. So here's my D16Y8 motor. So I've just uh, removed this, this, I guess, crank sensor here, because um, I'll be running OBD1, it won't require it. So it had a little grommet that's supposed to fit in this little slot here. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut a couple slits in here, pull the wire out and use this so that no dirt gets in there when I put the timing cover back on. Um, as well, I'm going to be putting in the A6 bracket. Of course, I'm going to probably have to modify the timing cover um, a little bit. That's what I read. So, stay tuned. Alright, so I got the um, engine mount bracket on. I torqued it down to 40 foot-pounds as per the manual. Um, I had to modify this uh, timing belt cover. Um, so, basically trimmed it a little bit here, if you can see just to have some clearance when you kind of try to tuck it in. Um, and then this one as well, the top cover needed to be trimmed. So I just cut it um, used pretty easy with the X-Acto blade. And now it fits perfectly. All right, so that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next video. Cheers.